And today, the Italian police closed St. Peter's Square. This follows the Italian government calling for a nationwide quarantine. People can leave their houses, but only in cases of emergency, necessity, or medical reasons. However, in doing so, people must respect a one meter distance from others. Grocery stores are limiting the amount of people who can shop at one time. Restaurants and bars must close at 6 p.m. and gathering in groups is forbidden. All of these measures are being enforced until April 3rd. Joining us now is Alan Holdren, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief, and he is coming to us from his home in Rome. Welcome, Alan. Welcome to my home, Tracy. <laughs> Well, I know the Vatican City is a separate state from Italy, but it is being forced to go on lockdown. Uh, tell us why that is and how is the Vatican dealing with these precautionary measures? Well, the, the Vatican is going on lockdown, so to speak, uh, because of the same reasons uh, that Italy is going on lockdown, trying to contain the, uh, the infections. And so the, a lot of the people that work in Vatican City come from Italy. They don't live within Vatican City. And so they'll be coming and going. And obviously that's uh, a concern. Um, the the lockdown isn't complete in the Vatican, I should say. They are taking measures, but uh, they haven't, say, closed the offices. Yeah, Alan, can you tell us, you know, as our EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief, how is your life changing, your work life, and and, and local businesses around there too? Yeah, well, we've uh, we've pretty much uh, suspended in-office activity. We work remotely at this point, each one of us in our respective homes. Uh, obviously, that comes with certain limits. So we won't be able to provide, uh, say, uh, custom shoots out in the field at this point. Uh, and that's why I'm here <laughs> with you right now from my home. Uh, but that actually, uh, I mean, we're doing our part to contribute uh, to to containing this, and um, and we obviously want to keep want to keep bringing information from Rome here. Uh, to all of you. Absolutely, Alan. I heard a little voice uh, in the background there. We know that you're a dad of four and a husband. Um, how has life changed for you as a family, and are you guys doing anything differently now? Yeah, I mean, we are um, basically homeschooling at this point, which there are certain people that can do that. Uh, we've, we've not tried that previously. Uh, it takes a little bit of discipline here and just keeping to a schedule. The kids are receiving homework from their school, which is uh, been suspended in class work has been suspended until April the third. Uh, we're trying to keep up with that. <clears throat> the uh, the teacher actually, a fourth grade teacher, asked for pictures today of the homework to make sure that it had been done. So uh, we're keeping up with it. We've got some stockpiles of food here. Uh, we can we can go outside. We can go and get things one person at a time. We can go to the supermarkets. Um, so it's not it's not a huge concern at this point whether or not we'll have supplies. It's just maintaining a safe distance is being asked of us. Alan, we don't have much time, but I, I do want to ask you this. Do you think that Italy will recover from this crisis, and, and how do you think they'll recover? Italy has recovered from repeated crises over the centuries, uh, the last major one being World War II. Uh, we still have people telling us stories about that. So I'm, I have no doubt that the ingenuity of the, the Italian people will lead to a bounce back from this as soon as we're able, uh, but it won't be without uh, a certain price to pay, which unfortunately Right now, the economic situation is not being helped by this. Yeah, well, Alan, thank you so much for joining us from your home there in Rome. Alan Holdren, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Thanks again. Thank you, Tracy.